How you doing guys? It's Kevin. We're back with another video. A little while back I made a rug storage underneath my camper, my runaway. It's right here. And I said something about building a tool. Some people asked me that they said they'd really like to see what the tool looked like that I was going to make. So I'm going to make the tool to open the rug storage. And what we want is something light, something easy, and something easy to store away. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the cap off now. It's actually pretty tight to do it by hand. And you do want it tight because you don't want water getting up in there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make the tool to take this big nut, I guess you can call it, or this cap off, on and off, without using your hands or a big, big wrench. So let's get to making this tool. Here's the piece we want to take off, which should be our plug on our rug storage. This is what I'm going to use to make my wrench out of. It's just an old cutting board. I hope my wife don't find out, but we're going to make a wrench out of it. If she needs a new one, she can go get one. I'm going to use this one. I like this one because it already has a handle on it, which is nice. So if you can find one of these in your store and you want to make the tool, find you an old cutting board that has the uh, handle already on it, which is going to make our uh, job a little easier and another thing is a lot of these are made out of nylon and nylon is pretty strong It's flimsy. It'll bend but this will make a nice tool to tighten and loosen this uh, cap So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and get this marked out what we want it to look like and then uh, Get it cut Let's get to it here We're going to use this as sort of like a pattern for our um, our tool. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay it on there like that then I'm going to trace this. Now, so we got that traced on there. I cut this piece out of cardboard and all I did Let's take it and press it down on there and then cut out the square. So I got me a little template of how I want to put on my tool. Now I'm thinking <clears throat> this might be okay here, but I'm thinking maybe I want to take this side, this piece right here, and bring it straight down. So I'll have a little more strength on there. So if I take that and just kind of let's see if I can go all the way up here. Something like that and bring that straight down. That's going to give me a little more strength in this corner. Do the same thing on the other side. So now <clears throat> we can round these two edges off a little bit. We can sand them or whatever. So now I want to center up my piece on here and I'm just eyeballing it. It ain't got to be perfect. We'll stick it down on there and then we'll trace this out. Now you want your square to be a little bigger than this piece here. And I'm just a little bit bigger because when I pressed the cardboard down on there, it went over the edge a little bit. So now when I laid it flat, it should be big enough to fit on my nut. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this on a bandsaw. I'm going to see if I can cut that on a bandsaw. And then I'm going to drill four holes in all four corners. And then I'm going to cut out our square. We're just going to cut this down a little bit so it's a little easier to work with. I'm not sure how well this will cut it, but no problem. Okay, that looks pretty good. So now we're going to drill four holes and cut out this center. 
We're just going to take a quarter inch drill bit. I'm going to stick it right on the tip of each corner. I'm going to go all the way around like that. Okay, now we're going to cut each one of these lines. The only thing I can think of to cut this is my coping saw. So we're going to try it and see if it'll cut it. If I take my time, I think it's going to do okay. So a little coping saw works pretty good. Just take you a little bit of time. There we go. Got us a square hole. Get that thing out of there and get her cleaned up. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to take a knife. I'm going to go over right over the very edge of this thing and try to clean the corners up. Then I'll take a little bit of sandpaper and round everything up with some sandpaper. And uh, we should have our tool done. We'll go try it out. Okay, for you students that are wondering why I drill a round circle in this, is because if it goes into a point on both sides, it could crack air. But if it's drilled in a circle on each corner, you have a circle, then you have less chances of this cracking through here or here or wherever. So it's best to drill the round circle so there's not a straight line for it to crack on. So I think this will make it stronger. I got it all sanded up. And there's what we wanted to sit it on. And as you can see, it fits really nice. A good, nice, nice fit on there. And I do believe this will be actually a pretty strong tool. And the nice thing about it is it's flat, it's easy to store, and uh, it's light. And it's strong. Now this way, like this, it's probably not as strong. This way. But when you put it on this way, and you turn it this way... It's going to be really strong. Nylon is a real strong material. So I think that's going to do a good job on uh, tightening and loosening the rug storage. Alright guys, you can hear the chickens in the background. We're in the barn. We got this thing stored away, but I want to get a couple more videos done. So we got the tool done. We'll go ahead and give it a try. And uh... I think it's going to be a good strong tool. I don't think we're going to have any problems with it. That's getting her tight and that's really good and tight on there. And no give to the tool at all. And then taking it off. I think it's going to work great. Easy to store, put it away anywhere in one of your totes. I want to tell everybody thanks for watching my video. Don't forget to subscribe, leave me a thumbs up, thumbs down, or a comment if you'd like. Till next time.